All right, y'all, I'm at one of my favorite spots. My secret getaway spot. I'll probably tell you pretty soon where it's at. You, you may recognize it if you guys have been out here before. It's Yesterday, I said something about a lock. So today, I want to show you what I mean. By being safely locking up the guns. Now, I'm not talking about the ones that you're carrying with you. I'm talking about the ones around your house. How to keep them away from your kids and how to keep yourself safe and how to keep your kids safe. So here's what I'm saying. You got your you got your gun bag, your rifle bag, put a lock on it, you know? Don't tell your kids the combination. I got locks on mine, nobody knows my combination. So here's this one here, and it's not, you know, you can get into it if you really, really want to, but you can check that and you know someone's been into it. Same thing over here. This is just a little gym bag that I carry to the bag and the, the, the range and so forth. And I just carry my pistols in here. I keep them in a safe at home, but when I get when I go out and about, I put them on here. Put a lock on there. Same thing. Sure, you can grab a knife and you know cut into it and so forth. But you know, most of the time that's not going to happen. Lock your stuff up. You got these things that go around your triggers. I don't use these all the time. Every now and then, if I have to have one out, I leave it there. Are you traveling? I think I paid like ten bucks for this thing. It locks up. I'm the only one that has a key. So I come out here, and as you can see, I just pull the key out, open it up. Now, this is like when I lock everything up. This is the one I usually keep by my, my nightstand. It sits right there. It's ready to go. I don't have one in the chamber. It's ready to go when I need it. Lock them up. Know where your stuff's at, you know? Of course, you got one on you. Don't lock that one up, you know? It's safe. You're in control, but control your guns. Don't let your kids control your guns. That's what I'm saying. So, lock challenge, man. Put your stuff locked up. Now, if you got an area that you need to have your guns in the ready, first of all, man, I feel for you. Second of all, do it securely because you don't want your guns to be used against you or against someone that you don't want them to be used against. So, that being said, I got that off my chest. It's time for me to go have some fun. Who knows, maybe I'll rant some more. All right, I forgot to reload all my stuff last time, so I'm not gonna be here very long today. I don't think I brought enough ammo, but uh, let's load this up and get this stuff going. So for those of you wondering what I brought today, I brought my Taurus TX-22. I love this thing, it shoots out uh, and it's clear. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second, I haven't loaded anything yet. So it's a uh, TX-22. I love just come out here and plinking down the range and shooting the steel with it. I'll show you in a second here. My, my G3C, I actually have two of my G3Cs out here and I have a G2C over there. And I brought Jill, Jill sitting over there just waiting for me to get to her. So I have a 22 LR conversion kit. And uh, so you'll see today, I keep this thing really lubricated and rolled up and it runs through just fine. It runs great. And then I can use the same AR that I use with my 223 and my 5.56. And I just, like I said, I keep things oiled and lubricated up. So uh, I'm gonna go over here real quick and load my magazines. I didn't bring much ammo with me so then I don't have much time either. So let's, uh, you gotta load them up if you're gonna send them out, right? All right, so I'll be back in a minute. So obviously, as you guys know, part of the fun of uh, shooting is the, the reloading. And I like, I actually have, I have one of these speed loaders and this one's actually, the TX-22 is actually really easy to load. Here, check this out, TX-22, so easy to load. And I actually find that it's actually with these 22 uh, room fires, it's actually, in my opinion, I find that it's better to actually load them when you come out here to shoot because sometimes when the 22 sits there and gets, stored i guess it, it just settles and sometimes they have a misfire although with the cci ammo i don't think i've had a misfire yet uh except what you know on the occasion when my uh 22 lr conversion kit wasn't oiled or i've had a time or two where i actually dropped a bullet and i got bent because you know that 22 it, it, it gets uh it easily comes out of line but the cci ammo it seems like it has a really good quality control um, I have, you know, other brands I've used and so forth. I like it as well. But anyhow, so I'm going to finish this up here uh, and, and get out there because I'm kind of anxious to get out there and shoot. 
So for the CCI early kit, uh, it was right around 200 bucks. I have to look at the price, I forgot exactly. I ordered it online from uh, Palmetto State when it was actually on sale. Now they come with three of these magazines that fit my AR and they'll fit your AR too. And uh, it holds 25 rounds, so I can load these up for 25 rounds and I've already lost my count of where I'm at. So I just go down until it doesn't feel quite right anymore. To be honest though, when I'm pulling my trigger, I'm not counting how many times it's shooting. I just know when I go blink, 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 and uh, it stops shooting. I check to see if I have a misfire or if I'm out of ammo, and most of the time I'm out of ammo, so, you know. So all right, back to this little bitty things here. And I only brought about 400 rounds of 22. I think I brought 400 rounds of 22, a couple rounds of run, a couple hundred rounds of nine, and 100 rounds of 12 gauge, which you would think would be the funnest thing to shoot. I guess it really is. I just brought bird shot out here because I'm shooting steel, and they like us to be nice to there. They don't want me shooting steel with slugs. I've never done that, so I don't know what would happen. Uh, but nonetheless, all right, I got the other ones loaded, and now I got it back. In. Give Jill some attention. Give her some, some fuel. Well, you know what? I almost shot the right angle. So let me uh, take that out. Because that was buckshot. And I'm supposed to shoot bird shot out here. So uh, I hear at this outdoor range, I'm going to shoot the bird shot. So I'm going to load up five here. And I've got two 10 rounds. Tell me or I can look at it when I go back and edit. Otherwise, when it's full, I'm gonna take that as five. Then we'll come back here and load the next one up. So I should have like 25 rounds coming through here. So, uh, honey, my wife, not y'all, have the ice packs ready. I know, get my own damn ice packs, right? All right. So I'll be back in a minute. You know what, I don't remember if I said 10 or 20 in that, uh, that last little clip there. It's 10. I think I got a little excited. There is a 20, I don't have it. I can't imagine running 20 rounds of shotgun out. I can't imagine who would be left afterwards. And if they didn't stop coming at you after 10, even 5. I'd hate to see how pissed off they were. All right. So I got I got some rounds here. And I, if I counted right, I've got 25 off of here. So I'm going to go sit up here real quick. I've got some of my guns out here already staged. Ready to go. So uh, I just see here, I've, I've got my AR sitting there. I've got my... Uh, I got one of my, I my TX-22 sitting there. I'm gonna shoot off my nine over here. Then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab my other nine right there and use it a little bit. Then I'm gonna walk over here and uh, I'll grab Jill. Let her off a little bit. So uh, I've got some steel targets behind me to have some fun with. And uh, now we just gotta figure out where to put the camera. All right, we're gonna do this in little segments here. So this is my first time. Hey, spider! You don't want to afraid of spiders, right? Because you can see here with you. All right. So somebody else is out here also, which is great because I love it. So here goes. Here goes. Here goes. All right, y'all. So I got a jam here. I'm a third magazine. Looks like I just had a. Looks like a round had a, it didn't fire. So that's not the uh, conversion kit. That's actually the ammo having an issue there. So I'm gonna leave that one over here with the spider. I'm gonna go back over there and uh, no, this is a fun thing about this. I'm out here by myself and I'm not sure how long I was recording on that last one. So I'm gonna go run out the rest of these last in this mag, load up again, and then run another 75 rounds out for you real quick so you can see what happens here. All right, now save the things. But here in my range, we got to walk back to our, I'm gonna walk backwards, this thing pointing up or pointing down range. So I'm gonna walk back with it pointing up. So that's what you'll, you'll see here.
here I got my 22 OR. Safety off now because I just racked one in there to see how it goes. Safety off, racked up to my nine millimeter. Oh, there's something there. I thought one that didn't fire. That was good enough. So, you can see here, it's a dead fire. I don't know what happened there. I've had this ammo for a while. Well, no, I haven't had this ammo for a while, so I don't know what happened there. All right. Don't make me nervous. Remember something? I just had a hundred subscribers. That, that calls for something special. So I've got 30, 32. I'm gonna cheat and walk a little closer this for this one here. So this runs them off with Jill. Thank you for the uh, the hundred subscribers. Let's see. All right. All right, y'all, we're gonna do it from the other side. Now this time, I don't quite have 30 rounds, but we're gonna take my nine real quick. And uh, we're gonna go for this target over here. Let's see if I can actually get 10 rounds out of zero. Let's do this myself here, so. Ow, what the hell. All right. I'm getting too old for this. It helps if you load it up first. That way the zombies don't get you. And it helps if you do it right. Let's see what's going on here. All right, that time, that time I saw it go in. Here goes. Let's see if I don't fall back. Hope that look good for y'all. Boy, howdy, I'm not that young anymore. All right, there's the aftermath. There it is again. So uh, let's go paint these targets over so they look new. And boy, that shotgun, it puts me out of breath. So I hope y'all enjoy that. That's worth at least one like, maybe two subscribes, right? Huh. 
Ron, this one's for you. You make it look easy. Let's see how it goes. One's enough. I'm out. Hey, Ron. You made that look too easy. I'll just practice on the trampoline, I guess. I have. Look at this shoe there. Look at that. Got one jammed up in there. Here I am bragging about it, not jamming. And I had another round in there. It was bad. off for target in there. So let's see what happens if I can fire that one. That time it works. So maybe they just had a maybe they need a clean light. X22 is ready to go with safety off. Of course, G3C. So here's Jill, she's sitting over here ready to save the day, get rid of all these zombies. And I hate to say it, but I'm out of breath. All right. All right, y'all, so my fun time's over. Time for me to pack it up. And what we gotta do here, take care of our targets. We gotta come back out here and clean up our targets. Make them all nice and pretty, ready for the next person. Because everybody wants to see the nice white target when they get out here. Ready to go. So you can see what kind of fun you just had. You get done. All right, y'all. So it's all said and done. Sad moment has arrived. It's time to go home. Time to light, time to leave your, your secret place. Have your primary ready to go. As always, mine's safety on. Semi concealed, as it is in Texas, my license. And then, your, all your guns are in your bags. Lock. All right? Lock. Now you go home, you put your guns in your room. You go relax for a minute. And then when you have a chance, you can put them in the safe or whatever else you have. 
in the meantime, you know where your stuff's at. You know it's not going to end up in your kids' hands. You know, we were all kids once. You know, I remember being 18 and being, you know, big headed and I didn't think straight on time. People want to start stuff with me and, you know, when you get older, you learn how to de escalate things. Before I even loaded my gun, I practiced in my head de escalating things in my head. Because I never want a moment of anger to be the rest of my life. Put your locks on your guns, guys. Keep yourself, keep your family safe. Have your primary, have your backup ready to go. Know where it's at. Your collection, your extras. Make sure they don't end up in the wrong hands. All right, as you guys can see, I'm out of breath. This has been a workout for me, but it's a very relaxing workout for me. So uh, once again, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thanks for the shares. I haven't figured out a quick and nice, smooth slogan and so forth, but you know, be safe. The Second Amendment and in our country is very important. Protect yourselves, protect your family. Stay safe while you're doing it. You, the person with the gun, is the safety. Knowing where your guns are at, that's the safety. No, I'll even say real quick, if you don't have a place to store your gun, so for example, if you're going to the grocery store and you walk inside of that store that says, they have your kryptonite out there and they say, you cannot legally carry a gun in here even if you are licensed. And you're caught without your lock, without your safe. And you have your kids in the car. Well, quite honestly, what I did when it happened to me is I told my kids, I didn't tell them why, I said, you cannot stay in the car. Uh, but if that wasn't an option or whatever you guys know how to clean your guns take the barrel out of your gun keep your gun in the car you know secure somewhere take the barrel with you because all of us who have guns we know you can't fire that gun without a barrel at least I don't think you can and if you walk in that store and Someone out there would have said Karen out there. Because, oh my God, he has a barrel. A barrel to your pistol. I'm sure that when the police arrive and then you explain it to the police, it's going to be a little easier. Unless you're in California. <laughs> Anyhow, right here, I'm sure it'll be easier. I've never, they'd never know it anyways. Same thing with your AR. That out. Take out your uh, <laughs> easy, I can't even think right now. Take out your carrier, your carrier group. It won't fire. Disassemble it. Carry the carrier with you. Carry that with you. You can't shoot the gun if you have nowhere to put the bullet. Because obviously you're not going to walk in with your 22 or your 16 inch rifle barrel in your pocket. Have a good day.